Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're trying out this Superior Preference. This is a L'Oreal Paris product. This is their Balayage Highlighting at Home Kit. This is for medium to dark brown hair. So you get this really cute like fingertip applicator brush that makes um, streaking out your highlights really easy. You have your developer, your cream highlight, your powder highlight, and then your cream. Then you have, um, this is a pro toning mask. I'll get into more detail about that uh, later on in the results portion um, but you just want to go ahead and mix that powder bleach in with your developer so that's going to be your first step and then after you have all of that powder in, then you're going to put the cream lightener in as well and just give that a really good mix um, the directions do show that you can um, disperse this out into a bowl and then kind of dip the brush if you want to. But what I decided to do is I'm just sectioning my hair off. Um, I'm kind of doing like a partial, not a full uh, balayage for this. So I'm just gonna kind of streak out on the, like from the crown of my head up. And um, I decided to just apply the product directly onto the brush each time instead of dipping it. Um, I feel like the process would have gone a lot quicker if I had done what the direction said to do and put it in a bowl and then just kind of dip and go, dip and go. So what I'm doing is I'm just, and what balayage really is all about is you're just kind of placing the highlights where you want them. There isn't really a rhyme or reason as far as placement goes. It's not really structured and particular about where those highlights are going to fall. So you're just picking where you want them to be. So um, I just kind of comb that through. I really like this little applicator. It helped, you know, keep the hair nice and smooth. And I feel like the highlights ended up being nice and even because that was just brushing through really nicely. So I show you a few of these in real time before I'll just like speed through my application process but I did want to show you exactly how I was doing that and then instead of taking that all the way to the root I'm just kind of very lightly fanning so that sort of blends nicely so you're not having any harsh lines or anything like that at the root area so as you can see it's it's hard to tell that I have the applicator brush in my fingertips but it is there and it just it definitely helped I've done balayage before and I've always just used my fingers and it can really get messy so I liked this um, applicator very much so now I'm just speeding through and I'm really just placing them where I wanted them I didn't want a super like over highlighted look so I just did a few so definitely a partial highlight on this and then um we processed for 25 minutes. The directions say that you could process for 45, and um, I will get into the results. Okay, guys, so here are the results of this L'Oreal Paris. This is the Superior Preference Balayage for medium to dark brown hair. Okay, so I'm having a really hard time with my lighting to get um, a really good shot for you guys to see the results on this. Now, um, it is subtle, so I'm not, don't expect like super drastic results. And the reason for that being is I left it on for about 25 minutes. I don't know which is better. I feel like this even though it's dark in the room, like my ring light is kind of giving you a more true appearance. Plus I have a window right here in my bathroom. So anyway, um, I left it on for about 25 minutes and you can leave this um, bleach on for up to 45. So I definitely could have had more bright results and I can't say that I'm not a little disappointed in myself for not leaving them a little bit longer. Um, but I do like that this is just a nice, subtle, like, color change. We've got some dimension now where we're not just one solid color. Um, I really, the condition of my hair is just incredible, almost too soft. If you have fine hair, you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, but that's not a bad thing. It just shows how healthy, um, 
the product leaves your hair. So let me explain one thing that I did not realize until I was in the shower getting this out. The number four step, which I just assumed because I did not actually read the directions properly as I was unboxing it. The number four step is a pro toning mask. It is not your uh, standard conditioner that comes with these color box colors or treatments or bleaches or anything like that. So when I was in the shower and I'm just rinsing and ready to put on some conditioner and be done, I opened it, put it in my hands and it was black. It looked like there was tar all over my hands. Now I have experience with toning masks so I put two and two together before I actually looked at the bottle and realized I should have read the directions. Um, so I threw that on and because I hadn't read the directions, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how long I should leave it for. So I ended up leaving it for a couple minutes and rinsing it out. Now, once I got out of the shower, the directions say to leave it on for 10 minutes. So I think a lot of the warmth, which I'm fine with, but if you are not liking the appearance of the warmth that the highlights are bringing, um, that toning mask is really going to help with that if you like leave it on properly the way it says to. So I just want to throw that out there and I you know fully admit that I just did not read the directions. I didn't even know that it was not just your standard conditioner. So as far as my overall thoughts, I really like this. It's nice and subtle. It's realistic. I mean, even with the box, they're not pretending that you're going to end up looking blonde. Uh, it's just a nice way to add some dimension instead of me, which I always do like an ombre. And I'm so sick of doing the same thing. So I just wanted to kind of just put some lighter streaks. I'll probably do it again now that I know that I like the product. Um, I think I will try it again, leave it on longer, and then properly tone it. So I'll just kind of slowly go through uh, a lightening process as the warmer weather comes through. It's just what I always do. So uh, let me know what you think. Have you tried it? Um, hopefully try to give you some proper shots of what it looks like. If the footage isn't great then I will uh, try to insert some photos, but hopefully you're able to see um, what 25 minutes looks like with the color, with the bleach, and then not actually properly toning. And then also, just for anyone that's new the, to the channel, um, I have had two rounds of very warm colors. I did a uh, deep bronzed brown, and then after that, I did a, what was it called? I think it was a mahogany or something very rich and red toned. So that's another thing to consider when you see all this warmth that I have. So uh, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and please revisit.